Hi there. We finally made it. Dude, I am so super psyched up about this. We finally got to Ajax. We've spent so long already playing as Cleon and Rembrandt. Now we finally made it to Ajax. You actually play as Cleon a lot more. Yeah, there's Rembrandt right there. What's up, brother? <laughs> right, this level right here, we're going into East Harlem, New York. Uh, or Spanish Harlem, if you will. It's uh, located in the northeast corner. All the way up in the northeast. Northeast. And it actually, it's got the highest crime rate in all of Manhattan. And the highest jobless rate in all of New York City. Used to, uh, Spanish Harlem. Actually, used to be Italian Harlem. Back in the day, it's the birthplace of the uh, Genovese crime family. Uh, Vito Genovese. And it's interesting, uh, the guy that played Ajax, James Remar, actually uh, played Dutch Schultz, a famous gangster from back then in the movie The Cotton Club, an old Richard Gere movie. But it, I'm so happy. This is a really cool board. Like I said, there's uh, seven tags in this. There's a car that you gotta smash up, and those are the only bonus missions. And that's it. High score is 7,000, by the way, which shouldn't be a problem. There's seven tags. High score is 7,000. Shouldn't be a problem. And we're just gonna go in and just start beating the shit out of people, because that's what this guy does. That's him and his element. A lot of the dialect. The, uh... The Spanish that's used in this level is the Puerto Rican Spanish, since it uh, you know varies from country to country. Like from Puerto Rico to Mexico, they mean they the versions of Spanish are similar, but not the same. So a lot of the words and phrases that are used in this, you know, a person from Mexico wouldn't even know. East Harlem has a huge Puerto Rican population. But granted, there are there is a small Mexican population. There's actually a small uh, Asian population now. Uh, but for the most part, for decades, it's been you know the highest Puerto Rican population in all of New York. Man, this guy's just a full-on puncher. No high flying, swinging kicks. None of that. And I said it in the last post, nothing fancy, nothing pretty, just punching the shit out of you. Left, right, left. And I hit my flash there, I kind of wasted it, didn't need it. Oh, hello! Go put this guy down. <laughs> Take Cochise with it. And there it is. Put him on the ground, mount him, and just beat him down. All right, so they took out the car. We'll get rid of my guys so they don't get in the way. Over in this corner, there's a flash dealer. We don't have any money yet. So, or enough money anyway. So we're just gonna put this guy down. We'll take one. Over in the opposite corner is a can of paint. And the first tag is up on top of this dumpster. You see, these tags are really hard to see. They're pretty much the same color as the wall. They're just, you know, from a distance. If you're looking for them and you don't know where they are, they're really difficult to find. But that's number one. There's another one out here. If you look on top of that building up there, see, it's really hard to see. But it's up there. And we don't have enough money, so we're gonna have to buy some paint. Shit, man, I don't need this noise. Painting isn't really Ajax's thing. Fighting is his thing. So here you go. Yeah. Just swinging, and you know what I mean. That's his element. Shit, man, I don't need this noise. Huh? Sorry, brother. You like this, don't you? Oh, a. All right, enough screwing around. We gotta go mug some people because we gotta buy some paint. I try to find people that are separated from everybody else because pedestrians in the street will alert. 
the local gang that you're there and then they're gonna come and surround you. Let's not get crazy, okay? Here. Dude, I love this guy. Alright, so let's go find somebody else. Preferably away from everybody else. Pedestrians will alert the hurricanes and then they'll come at you full force. Shut your mouth, Wimp, and give it up. What the fuck? You oh, see that guy coming up, walking behind me? That's the uh, Flash dealer that we just beat down. And see, you can't go up behind him and mug him. You have to wait till he's in place or he's got nothing to give you but these guys, man. You attack him, look at this guy fight, dude. Better get your guard up. You these are worse than the gang members. You try to jump on one of these guys, and even if you are a guy that can take a lot of damage like Ajax, these guys are tough to beat down. Come on, Wimp. Let's go. Uh, anyway, enough screwing around. Let's go buy some paint. Move on. Paint dealers through here. So we got seven tags, and I'm going to put this guy down because... We might have to buy some flash later. I want my money back. And since there's no stores to break into, the only way to do it is to mug people. Now, this fence right here, there's another tag hidden in here. Notice there's nothing in here but this tag. And another guy you gotta be really careful with. Yep, yeah, got it. Doing alright so far. Let's go with that one that I pointed out earlier. You have to actually have to jump up onto the building next to it and then jump over to that one. It's the only way to climb up to it. Over here. And over here. If you need more money, there's a couple guys right there you could mug up here, which is pretty cool. I don't think that'll be necessary, though. Ah, shit, come on. Alright, made it. Moving along, on to the, uh, before the next street, there's one more tag. You gotta jump up on here, and you gotta jump over there. And it's on this wall. A little tricky to find that one, too. Come on, already. Like I said, tagging's not his thing. Dude, this guy. Okay. See, there's hurricanes way over there. We don't need to fight those guys. Because there's nothing over there that we need. However, there's hurricanes right here that we do need to fight. Because there's a tag right around the corner and they'll keep jumping on you while you're trying to hit it. You're ready to die, jump! You'll wreck these fools! But. Like I said, I saw this movie in like 1983, and I've pretty much every time I've watching TV or a movie, and this guy pops up, I was always super excited because you know that's Ajax. You fellas looking to score? There was a TV show in uh, the 80s. It was called The Hitchhiker, and he was in. It was like a like a cheap Brand X Twilight Zone. It wasn't anywhere near as good as the Twilight Zone, but I think that's what they were trying to do. He was in an episode of that where he was some crazy serial killer guy. And it was kind of weird, but I was like, dude, it's fucking James Remar. How kick ass is that? I remember really well uh, a movie, Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. If you've ever seen that, it's uh, there's three different stories in that. All right, we're filled up on Flash, and we got our money, and we're gonna go. Follow me. Okay, man, we're on the. Oh, that movie came out in the '80s too. It's split into three parts, and he's in the first story, and it's a really cool story. So I've been following this guy for years. No way. This is the place. Looks like a shithole to me. All right, we're still following this guy Sanchez. He owes us money. Feel Sanchez. Shit. <laughs> this little weasel. He's back by the Hurricanes, and they're just willing to take ass-whooping after ass-whooping for this guy. But the James Remar also did a lot of uh, 
animated work for superhero shows, which since I'm a, I've been a big Batman dork my whole life, and there was a, a show, not the animated series, not Batman the animated series, but they, another show was just called The Batman that he was in, and he played Black Mask, which was very cool, and then uh, a couple years ago when they came out with uh, Batman the Brave and the Bold, he was Two-Face in that. Actually, he was on uh, uh, Justice League. Justice League Unlimited. He's Hawkman. He's the voice of Hawkman, and he was also uh, one of the main Manhunters. He was like the lead Manhunter. But he's just, dude, he's a working actor. He's been around forever, and he's still a working actor. He's the only actor from this movie that you can still turn on your TV and see every week. Uh, right now he's on the show uh, Dexter, the Showtime show. He plays Dexter Morgan's father, Harry. <laughs> Alright, start fighting. Stop talking. Sorry, I'm all psyched up. I love this guy. The uh, Hurricanes aren't the heaviest set in this game, but uh, they are pretty tough. I think we're good here, and Sanchez is gonna bolt for it. We're gonna have to chase after him. Hey, listen up, puñeta! Anybody come who don't take it outside gets a blade to the fucking skull. Sanchez, man, get the fuck out of here, hermano. Another time, fuck it. <laughs> there he goes. Come on. I think I mentioned the Twilight Zone earlier. There was an Crap. '80s version of go? the Twilight Zone. James Remar was in an episode of that. He played Adolf down. Hitler's oh, father. We don't see each other meet up at the subway. Which is a trip. This guy has done everything. You know what I mean? Done action films, romances, just all up? kinds. Of He's done everything. Go, He's done everything there is to do. This all right, this is a running sequence. And we can't lose him. If we lose him, we lose. We got to do it all over again. We can't let him get too far ahead of us. Man, Jew warriors are a real joke. Yeah, you're a fucking joke. You fucking wimp. Fucking wimp. Man. Two warriors are a real joke. Alright, over here, over this fence, got some more fighting to do. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen uh, the movie The Quest. It was a Jean Claude Van Damme movie. James Remar's in that too. He played Maxi Divine, heavyweight champion of the world, the American heavyweight champion. All right, those hurricane lieutenants, the guys in the t-shirts, those guys carry knives. Gotta watch out for them. They take a lot of damage, too. Now, all the other, uh, other guys, the guys in the white shirts, they aren't too bad. The guys in the blue shirts, you gotta watch out. It's also cool you got Kochis here with you. These are like my two favorite guys. I love these guys. Damn. Alright, set some flash. Yeah, let go. Rage. Wait for it. Nah, kind of a waste now, what would be the point? See, knives. Gotta watch out for these knives. There it is. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> See, nothing pretty. Just cave your head in. Oh, that's cool. Ah, mierda! Ah, mierda! Which is shit in Spanish. And he's gonna take off again. This uh, thing up here, he jumps up there and he waits for you. You don't actually gotta hurry here. You jump over this fence, and you can see he's standing over there waiting for you. Uh, we don't really need it, but I'll show you. We jump up here. It's a can of flash up here. Don't really need it, but if you do, there it is. You can see he's still standing there waiting, so it's no big deal to jump up there and get it. Oh, 
told you. You guys got some nerve coming down to me, Barrio Walking Tall. Yeah, moving along, moving along. Come on, get him. Dude, James Remark was uh, Raiden in Mortal Kombat Annihilation, the second one. He was Raiden. James Remark's done everything. The hurricanes are gonna blow you down, see? Alright, big fight sequence here. There's two guys standing up top. When I get here, I like to jump over here first, because these guys standing up here will throw bottles at you while you're trying to fight. There's another one up here throwing bricks at you. So, I like to take these guys down. <laughs> I mean, Kochi would just wipe these guys out. This Kochi is pretty badass, too. Look at this stupid thing. Oh, Alright, here we go. Your rage is great to use when you're surrounded like this. You got a lot of guys around you whose health is full. You see the green bar under them. Your rage moves take them out and instantly. Uh, fucking wimp. They done? Yeah, I guess so, so I don't need to uh, hit that rage. But I'll take this flash because right up here and around the corner is more flash. And as you can see, Sanchez is still up there waiting for us. And next tag is right here so he's gonna wait for you no big deal hitting this tag he doesn't run off he stands there and waits he's trying to get away but he stands there and waits for you Fuck it right, brother. We'll be all, city in no time. all right that's six of seven the last one is kind of a bitch scale this scale this and right towards the end boss battle we got a boss battle here towards the end these two big Puerto Rican brothers Diego and Vargas you gotta fight them both down and they're both big bad and hard to beat up What the fuck, man? Yeah, look at this guy. You little Yeah, it just rips a support beam off. Me cago into madres. Pretty much means <laughs> that fucked your mother's warriors. I see a bunch of dead men. Okay, you can see our last tag is directly behind him on the wall. It's a pain in the ass because when you're trying to hit it, he's just going to come and keep swinging that support beam at you. You know what I mean? But again, okay, you want to get him distracted with your other. Yeah, he saw me and he's going to run towards me. Hold on. You want your other guys to distract him long enough, and then you can go hit it. Come on. Hey, we're good here. All right, very cool. Now, to beat this guy down, you can pick up bottles and bricks and just keep tossing them at him, and that kind of takes forever. Because I'm Ajax, and Ajax can dish out so much damage, I just like to get in right up close and just start wailing on the guy. And <laughs> there's his brother. Look at this guy. I mean, these guys are tough. Streets are watching. Get ready to die, mamons. Ready to die, mamons. Mamons in Puerto Rican Spanish basically means faggot or queer. 
This guy's up here throwing like household appliances and shit at you while you're trying to beat his brother down. And like like I said, you're gonna get hit a bunch of times, but you're Ajax, and we're full up on our flash. And there's another flash up on the right. To the right on the staircase, but I'll have to stay in a little closer to start hammering on it. And actually over on the left, I didn't bring that up earlier. But right behind those boxes is another can of paint. Yeah, there it is. Which we don't need, but if you do, there it is. Hey, Fuentes! Hey, Fuentes! Alright, so now you got these other guys up top. And they're gonna be throwing shit at you. While you're trying to fight him off. Alright, up here on the staircase. There's your flash. But now you gotta fight both of them off. Well, there's two guys up top throwing shit at you. Look, you wanna stick with Diego. You wanna, you know, don't head to Vargas and start trying to pound on him. Try to get Diego out as quick as you can, and then you wanna have to deal with both of them at the same time. Like I said, Ajax has really intense punching power. And there you go. This guy will knock you down and then body splash you. He'll just drop all of his weight on you. Like I said, they take a lot of damage, but Ajax is a badass. And he's still not done throwing toilets and shit like you. If you pick up bottles and bricks and just try to throw them at him and throw them at him, it takes forever. That's why I like to get in close. And look, we still have three flash left. And this is pretty much the end of this one. Dude, I, I really like this board. The uh, the next one's okay. It's nowhere near my favorite by any means, but it's, it's okay. We're going to see the hi-hats again. But uh, I will see y'all again. Please click subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. I will catch y'all next time.